hi you guys welcome to today's video welcome to my channel we are getting into some pretty fun stuff today it's very very casual vlog but um this week i'm doing a taco tuesday so we're gonna do some prep for that and then i am also going to get some stuff together i have a campaign coming up sorry you guys can hear the noise in the background because they're power washing outside but um I have to get some stuff together for a Halloween campaign that I'm doing, but I also want to decorate in general for Halloween. So we're going to get into that in today's vlog as well. Right now I'm about to do a clothing haul because this video is sponsored by Lulu's. I've worked with Lulu's before. I love their stuff, love their items. So I'm going to do a quick little haul. I'm going to try on most of the items as well. Um, but the theme, hold on, let me sit down. <laughs> let me, oh my coffee. Oh, I'll get it later. Uh, but the theme of this uh, haul, I was going to say of this vlog, of this haul is fall. So when I was picking out the items, I was like, okay, I want to find some pieces that are kind of different for me that I don't already have in my collection and that are very fall themed. So that's kind of what we're doing. I'm going to set you guys up on my... Oh, and by the way, my eye is red because I just got a lash fill, so nothing's going on it's just you know one of the perks of getting lash extensions so yeah i've done a video with Lulu's before and i've purchased items myself spent my own coin on lulu's items and i like their stuff because it's great quality and you can find a full-on outfit on there pretty much for like under a hundred bucks probably even less than that top and pants top and skirt they even have shoes accessories um, I pretty much picked out uh, a mix of capsule wardrobe items and then just some fun pieces. So I first want to start off with a plaid skirt that I will um, insert a try on for here. Now that, that skirt right there, I absolutely love it. However, I do have it at the tailor right now because I wanted to get it a little bit smaller from the sides. But I love the skirt. It's so nice on. It's like a kind of like a plaid sweater like fabric and just the quality is incredible. I don't have a skirt like that in my collection. I actually went through my skirt collection and I was like, what don't I have? And I don't have anything plaid. And plaid is perfect for the fall time. Plaid, pattern, anything like that is perfect for fall. I feel like that's a really good time to kind of play with different prints and patterns and thicker fabrics this one is like a wool yeah like a thick 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 kind of feel uh i kind of am into skirts as of lately and that's never really been me i i don't know what it is lately i've just been into like the mini skirts and skirts in general so i got this kind of like sage green one it has little tassels at the bottom very fl fun and flirty and i just love it and this is more of a mini skirt style I would say it's kind of it kind of hits me like mid thigh and it just fits really really well this one I do not have to get it altered at all if it's perfectly I want to say I got it oh and I got it in a size extra small the plaid skirt I got in a size small which is why I ended up getting it um tailored but yeah really nice skirt if you guys hear <laughs> squeaking in the background it's because I'm dog sitting right now so he's he's up there playing with his toy hold on let me make sure we're set up right here because i just put you guys on my tripod didn't even fluff the pillow didn't even chop the pillow nothing <laughs> anyway uh continuing on so yeah that skirt's nice this next set here i'm obsessed with this i would say is very trendy right now the type of material that this is made out of but this to me i think it's going to be more of a capsule wardrobe set um, and I like it because, well, technically these aren't a set. They are sold separately, but I'm going to wear them as a set and I'm going to wear them individually as well. So it's this uh, black kind of sheer see-through top. You can see right here, it's like sheer. There are a lot of sets out there right now that are like this. They're like the sheer crinkly um, fabric and then the shorts as well black you cannot go wrong with it and tell me why i do not have a black button up in my closet i don't know why but that is hands down a capsule wardrobe item just a black plain button up 
and um this one's kind of fun because it does have more of that crinkled look to it but these here obviously you can wear them together it's a very effortless outfit you don't even have to think about it just throw on some jewelry some sneakers or some heels and you have a full-on outfit or you can wear them separately so this top i would wear with jeans and some pumps um i would even wear it with denim shorts like leggings and then these shorts too with like a simple bodysuit um black white or with a chunky sweater tucked in this is a very versatile set right here love it i also have this is the top that i wore and by the way that sets in a size small this top i wore uh in my fall try on haul video and i got some questions on it there it is this flared out bodysuit it's a thong bodysuit which we love the back is my favorite 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 part i know my bra keeps showing don't mind it <laughs> but the back is my favorite because it has this cutout and it just adds a little flair a little kind of like sexiness to it with keeping it still very like classy or like more covered up or more conservative i guess i don't know y'all know what i'm talking about but it's just i love it it has a flared out sleeve like i said you can tell just by the shape it really like accentuates the body from the front it just looks like a simple black top but then from the back it's like yes i'm showing some skin this next uh, uh, item here was more of a pop of color fun item for me in the fall lately for summer and spring i was also kind of playing with a little bit more color as well but for the fall i like to add you know like little oranges or olives to my closet just really fun fall colors and so this year i decided to get this i don't know what it is about me and a burnt orange this year but it's just my vibe so i decided to get this chunky knit sweater the softest fluffiest sweater ever it is so comfy it is a cropped sweater by the way it does button up you can take the buttons off and wear it open if you want i picture myself wearing this with leggings kind of like tucked in on the side and some like ugg boots or some flats i love how comfy it is with my hair up in a tight slick bun makeup done hoop earrings i just love this gives me very much cozy pumpkin patch you know outfit and lastly this i already wore i took some photos and posted it on my instagram and this is by the way this was in a size small and this uh coat slash jacket is also in a size small it's like a coat jacket cardigan and blanket all in one it is so 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 cozy and I you know what I don't have anything like this in my closet either a lot of what I have is more cardigan style very uh casual which I typically like uh but this kind of adds a little bit more of a polished office like look because of the fact that it has the buttons and it has more of like the structured um would you say this is like a collar but um yeah it has buttons it has pockets and it gives me a very business like feel an all black outfit under this throw this on and you automatically look like you have your life together a day at the coffee shop when it starts to get chilly out here if i want to you know look like i work a nine to five like an office bay <laughs> this is something i would wear um for that or even just just to be cozy i just love this and it's definitely different than what i have so um, that's pretty much everything I picked out from Lulu's and I will have all of these items linked down below for you now keep in mind Lulu's items sell out fast and I'm not just saying this because they're sponsoring this video even myself when I've shopped on their website if I don't buy something that I like on the spot pretty much uh, it sells out so just keep that in mind so I'll link these items and hopefully they're still in stock and available for you guys to shop but hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul thank you to lulu's for sponsoring this portion of today's video and yeah that's pretty much everything now we're gonna hop into the rest of the vlog so prepping for taco tuesday and doing a little bit of fun halloween stuff i'm gonna put this stuff away but let's go ahead and get into the rest of this vlog i am currently on my way to go get my nails done that is first 
first on the agenda. I don't even know what I'm gonna do to my nails, to be honest. I, right now, I'll show you. I have just like a nude, but it's kind of growing out. You're not gonna be able to tell on camera, but I just have my nude that I typically always have. And so I'm gonna go get them filled, shaped up, and then I might change the design or the shape. I don't know yet. I'm gonna see once I sit there. I wanna go to Starbucks so bad, but I'm already, not running late, I'm gonna get there one minute before my appointment time. I don't wanna be late, okay? I don't wanna be late, so I'm gonna be good and just go to Starbucks afterwards. Hopefully I'm not there forever though, because they usually take a little while. So hopefully it's quick so I can go eat and I need to run errands because today is Taco Tuesday and I'm gonna have a Taco Tuesday over at my house. My cousins are gonna come over and I'm gonna make some tacos. So I need to run to the grocery store after Target, because I need to go to Target, and then uh, see what what other things I wanna get for tonight. I kinda wanna make a cocktail tonight. <coughs> My voice is still recovering from the cold that I had. But I want to either make a cocktail or just have wine. I'm not sure what yet. So right now that I'm getting my nails done, I'm gonna look on TikTok for like margarita recipes and see what comes up. But um, I'll show you guys later what I end up deciding on. And then I also need to tidy up a little bit when I get home. I'm actually dog sitting this week. So I'm gonna get home and like kind of like sweep mop, tidy up a little bit and pick up. Uh, and thinking about it, I'm gonna go to the grocery store first, as a matter of fact, because the grocery store I wanna go to, I don't know if any of y'all are like this, but I don't like going to certain stores in my area. Like there's a Target pretty close to where I live and I don't really like that Target or like the area. So I will drive 15 minutes to go to a Target that I like really like. Same with the grocery store. I'll drive a little bit further to go to a grocery store that I really like. So. What I was trying to say <laughs> is that um, the grocery store I want to go to, it's just a Stater Brothers, but it's a really nice one. So I'm going to, after getting my nails done, go to the Stater Brothers since it's on the way. And then I'll probably just drop off the groceries at home and then go to Target later so I can take my time. Yeah, see, I definitely don't have time to stop at Starbucks. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. I'll just go after. <laughs> it's just something about sitting at the nail shop with your coffee you know it's just it adds to the vibes it adds to the vibes of getting your nails done what is this car doing very strange strange activities okay my nails are done let me show you how they turned out and then I just placed my Starbucks order too. So I ended up going for brown, which I normally don't ever get, but I went for brown nails. And then I did these gold little diamonds, or rhinestones I should say, in the corner of my ring finger. They came out really cute. They're like simple fall nails, and then my toes, I just did them the same brown color. So right now, I just placed my Starbucks order. Like I said, I'm gonna go pick it up. I did it for store pickup instead of drive through because when I make certain changes to drinks, sometimes I don't like to order them in the drive through because it's just like too complicated. So I'd rather just send it in and like run in when I have time, of course. Run in and just pick it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I decided I'm gonna try making pineapple margaritas tonight. So I found this recipe on TikTok, I'll link it below. And it looks really good. And the ingredients, like it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna just pick that stuff up while I'm at the grocery store right now. the 
goods. We got the goods. I got what I always get, the Grande Ice Blonde Vanilla Latte with Vanilla Cold Foam, Caramel Drizzle, and Extra Ice. So good. Literally my favorite drink to date. Mm. Coffee wise, because I love a good iced chai. I also like matcha, but I haven't really gotten it lately. And then to eat, I just got the spinach feta wrap, which is bomb, and an oatmeal. But in the oatmeal, I asked for. Um, sweet cream in there instead of water not instead of water I think they add a splash with the water I just like that it adds like a little a little more flavor to it rather than it just being plain and I'm gonna add the almonds and the dried fruit I'm really glad I'm sitting in the parking lot still because they didn't give me a spoon that would have been tragic the sweet cream mm -mm -mm. So I pretty much finished setting up what I need to set up and uh, now I'm gonna just change get myself ready and start to prep everything so I'm first gonna make the guac and then I'm going to do I actually have it all written here so I'm first gonna do the guac then I'm gonna do the sour cream avocado sauce I'm trying this new one that I saw on TikTok and then from there I'm gonna start to prep the stuff for the drinks because for the drinks I have to do like the lemon zest and just like do little things here and there to kind of get the drinks together. So I'm gonna put the drink station together after I finish the guac and the sauce. And then closer to when they're gonna come, I'm gonna start on the meat. And the meat, I'm gonna cook it all and then put it all in here and just keep it warm. That way it's already out of the way and completely cooked. That way when they get here, all I have to do is focused on the shells so i'm going to cook the meat in this one transfer it over to this keep it on low and keep it uh warm and then i'm gonna wash this do the shells in this too i was gonna do this drink station in this corner but i feel like it's kind of crammed like to be standing here making a drink and then what if i'm like cooking right here it's just a little too crammed so i'm gonna move everything over here I already have the glasses here and um, that way, you know, if they want to make their drinks or chill right here on the bar stools, they can and make their drinks or whatever. So I think that would be really nice. And then this is my little cooking section. So I like to use these. These are to serve your tacos, but I actually like to use these for the shells. Once I finish doing the shells, I make my shells pretty soft and i'm gonna put them on here so that way they can form and once they kind of harden a little bit they're in the shape of a taco shell um so i'm gonna use these two to kind of help form the shells and that's pretty much it this is most of the stuff that i'm gonna be using for the tacos and the rest is in the fridge this right here is what i wanted to show you i just got this i'm gonna link it below for you but it's really neat because if you're like me and you like hosting little gatherings salsa we're gonna have cilantro cheese i don't know if cilantro but we're gonna have cheese i think sour cream just like little condiments first of all you put ice in here and then you put these in here 
just like that with all the condiments and I'll show you how it looks once I finish and it comes with these tongs and with two little spoons I just washed them so they're in there but I just thought this was really cute and it's not something that takes up a lot of space it's literally really small but it's enough to hold everything that I'm gonna need so really neat This is the recipe I'm using for the crema, for the cream. It's, um, I already have a few of these things. I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge right now too. I'm not gonna leave it out. But one of these is going to be for the avocado lime uh, cream that I'm making right now. So he says to use quite a bit of sour cream. So I got the big tub. I think that looks just about right. It says an avocado, a whole one. I'm pretty much, he put a lot of cilantro, so I am going to gonna put a lot too i'm pretty much putting almost a whole one he also uses lime zest but honestly i only am gonna use a tiny bit because i'm gonna put um more lemon and i don't want it too zesty to be honest so um, and then i'm putting he puts serrano i'm putting just a jalapeno so i'm kind of adjusting like the recipe here in the video he's holding two halves so i don't know if he means two full limes or if he means one lime cut in half so i don't know but i'm just gonna try it and then if it needs more then i'll just add more a drizzle ooh, of olive oil and a little bit of taco seasoning I could use a little bit of salt. I'll add a little more taco seasoning. Maybe a little onion powder too. There you go. I think that's um, kind of like the flavor that I am looking for. So I'm just gonna pour it here. I'm not going to put ice yet because I still have like an hour and a half until they get here. But, you know, put ice and then it does come with five of these. But since I don't have any other condiments to put, I'm just going to use the four and just kind of spread them out like this. And then, of course, we have the tongs. The only thing is it's not really going to close well. So I guess that works. I'll just put it in the space in between. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can't see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease.
She just wanna dance and tease me She just wanna dance and tease me She just wanna dance and tease me Listen, you've been missing since 2016 Squid tell me one fix You know that's my sister When she speak I listen she swears you're my missing I say we think different I, 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 I see By your heart I see Come baby, come, come try me Who you gonna love if you run by me, love? Ready? Too many twists and turns, twists and turns, yeah Lot of way, twists and turns, twists and turns, yeah Baby, call me, I too fry, I get burned Okay, it is the next day, two days later, <laughs> and I am going to put together a cute Halloween themed cart. So, I think the camera's crooked. So, every year for the past, has it been two years, three years? It's only been like two years. I put out my little cart with snacks for the holidays for the delivery drivers and so this year I want to kind of start earlier and start with Halloween. I have a Halloween based campaign coming up with a brand and so I'm going to record on my phone right now actually part of what I'm doing right now. You're probably going to see my phone kind of like in the mix right now. I want to make little goodie bags for the delivery drivers or for any kids that like might be in this building and I'm going to also make a sign to put out there as well so um let me show you what i ended up picking up so at target i got these spritz favor bags it's a bag of or a pack of 20. they're just clear plastic bags i was looking for halloween themed string or even just black or orange string but they didn't have any but it does come with these little you know the ones that it comes with is fine. I got two bags of caramel and cheddar popcorn mix. <clears throat> I got a bag of Reese's Pieces. These are so good. These are addicting. And then a bag of the Bold Party Blend Chex Mix. Rolo. And I'm going to include some Starbucks caramel drinks in the second row of the car. I don't know if I'm gonna put the cart together today. Bless you. I don't know if I'm gonna put the cart together today or if I'm gonna do it another day, but I am gonna make the uh, goodie bag. So I'm pretty much making like a monster mix or just like a, a mix of all these different things and um, making little goodie bags. I'm gonna show you. Let me set up my phone first though. And I have to hurry because I need to leave in about an hour and a half to go do my lashes. I went to a new lash place today. I just came back from there. I feel like this vlog, well, I luckily I didn't vlog the maintenance part of my days, but I just didn't have a good maintenance week. And it's like first world problems. So I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but long story short, I went to a new lash place and I paid like $200 for the lashes I have right now And you can't even tell that I have lash extensions No, I'm not gonna go and ask for my money back No, I'm not gonna go back and get them fuller because it took three hours to do this set that I have right now It took three hours. I'm not gonna go back to get more added because I do not have I have patience, especially when it comes to beauty stuff. I don't mind going to the nail salon and like doing a whole mani pedi, and I don't mind like that's nothing to me. I actually enjoy it. But three hours for <sighs> these lashes? No. Love you. <laughs> it's just it's giving never going back. So. I'm gonna go to where I normally go. I was just like, let me try a new place because it's closer. Lesson learned. So that's where I'm gonna go in a little bit. I have to hurry up. So this stuff, I am gonna make it with gloves on because um, I gotta be sanitary, obviously. And then these, well, I'll show you this. Yeah, I'll show you one side. Put it together. 
You guys are probably not gonna be able to see me, which is fine though. I'm just gonna show you how I'm putting it together. And for this specific campaign, I can't show the branding, like I can't show the name of what I'm using, the other companies. So I'm trying to set up my phone to where you can't see any logos. Cause yes, that is a thing. Sometimes you're not allowed to show that with other brands. So whenever you see people shoot something and there's blurred, like blurred logos or they're using blurring in certain videos that are sponsored, it's because that brand requested for them to blur out every single other logo in the video, which can sometimes be very annoying. But in order to prevent that, you just, you know, don't show logos, period. So. I think that right there, yeah, I think that looks fine. So I don't really need the gloves for the this part. I'm just gonna throw it in the bowl. And I'm trying to do this to where it doesn't show. There you go. Super easy, by the way. There's no ring or rhyme to this. You can buy whatever snacks you want to kind of add in there. Sorry, you can't have chocolate. You can't have any food because your dad won't let you. <laughs> you can have no food because your daddy won't let you. He'll kill me. You'll kill me. And for this part, I'm just taking off the wrapper, not touching the chocolates at all. Now I'm just gonna have to mix it all together. Ooh. Now I was gonna use a smaller bowl. Good thing I didn't. It was too small. Surprisingly, I need more popcorn. So I'm just gonna make a few and then get more of this stuff. 